Stories are what spreads information in this modern day world. Unfortunately, with the pace that technology advances, eventually there will come a time when books become obsolete. This is why before it is too late, we should get the stories from the source. Today, we are talking to a lady that has worked closely with the sea and traveled the Pacific more than once. My name's Fran Mackay. I came to New Zealand um, in the early 70s, and I lived in Auckland, and I was very lucky to get a job as a hydrographic clerk in a small marine type shop surveying place for merchant ships. I had to order sh charts from all around the world from the Admiralty in Taunton in England and for the New Zealand ones from the New Zealand Navy and each month I would receive corrections um, to the charts from the Admiralty uh, which I had to do by a fine pen etc and latitude, longitude, so it would be lights if they changed or rocks that were found or surveys that had been done for something. Um, and we also, um, I did ships um, portfolios and particularly Dutch ships in those days because then they did dry docks in Timaru because then it was cheaper to do um, the dry docks in, in Timaru, but these days, of course, they're probably done in Asia. Things have changed from uh, charts. They always had to have a, a world portfolio of charts, and you always had to have the up-to-date version. So while they were down in Timaru, some of the ships, I would do their corrections to bring them up to date and then when they came back to Auckland to load again, to go somewhere else, I would then do their New Zealand um, portfolio and I would do their chronometers, get them adjusted correctly, um, clocks, um, sextants, all those things that probably aren't used anymore. Uh, certainly the charts, I'm not sure whether these days they have required charts still but of course it's all electronic and other ways now finally do you enjoy living in new zealand yes definitely uh, i have lived in germany and on the isle of man before i was married um i can't remember where else it's a long time ago <laughs> and um no after moving so many times i'm very happy to be back in New Zealand. I would love a country life more than a city life, but circumstance doesn't allow that. <laughs>